boots on the ground, putting it down. Get up, get up, get up. I got something to tell you. I don't think they want you to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Special researcher Mickey D, I host The Scoop. I want to thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be on your electronic device. Thank you very, very much, my friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, good night to you, no matter where you are in this wonderful world of ours. My friends, as you know, I'm a citizen of the United States of America. I'm in the desert southwest. Use that picture there. In the desert southwest. It's uh, really warm and it's hot and uh, right now. It's uh, that time of the uh, year in the desert. Uh, uh, remotely. I'm remotely. I can be anywhere in the world. You guys know that, right? Uh, my friends, it is. Uh, it, it was a brutal week. It's brutal. We got to laugh at some of this stuff, guys. We're in a bear market. Many of you have never uh, been in a bear market. You have these, these, uh, you know, these spikes up and then down and up and down. For the most part, as we look at it, uh, some of the charts, we'll see, guys. It, it, it's a good time. You know, I, I've lost uh, money. You know, we've all lost a little money. Uh, but we're not getting hit in our sectors, you know, our lithium and our uh, you know, uranium and, you know, we're not being hit like uh, we could have been hit. Especially in one of our little areas of carbon credits. So we've been talking about a little, we'll talk a little bit about that here in a second. Now, I'll, I'll give you one of the companies uh, that I gave you in, in December, in January, beginning of the year. This company has really, really uh, exploded. And we'll take a look at it here in a second. Be okay. you know, scoops for your education, your entertainment, your information only. I'm not a stockbroker, not a money manager, not a financial advisor. My friends, if you think you hear something that you like, consult your local uh, stockbroker or your local money manager, and they can uh, tell you how to open up an account or make plans or do whatever you want to do, some dollar cost averaging from your check or whatever it is you, you guys do. You know, a lot of you, you know, <laughs> you trade baby knockouts for a living. <laughs> How's that done? It's, if you've gotten the right ones, it's been exceptional. You know, I mean, you know, all you got to do is look back to uh, the cannabis stocks. Uh, you know, a lot of people, oh, those stocks died out. They're dead, man. They're dead. You know, yeah, they are right now. But let legislation come around and they'll be back. But no one said they were dead when Canopy went up from uh, under uh, $3 to uh, $60 for us. Uh, it did very well, right? Uh, Aurora did very well. They're on their back right now, but they did very well. You know, segue there over to the cryptos. You know, we did when they were all under a dollar. You guys look at that video lately. I haven't looked at that video. When uh, Marathon and, and a Riot and uh, uh, Hut 8 and, and Hive, every, everybody was under a dollar. And I said, guys, this is not going to be here for long. These stocks are not going to be under a dollar for long. And and when things hit, they went up to $60, $70, $80. So that was a big hit for a, a lot of you. You made a lot of, lot of dinero. So what are baby knockouts, guys? These are companies that we identify early in a trend. They have that certain mojo about them. They have some great management. They have great location. You know, the jurisdiction is great. Uh, there's something good about it. We think they have the ability to dominate in a certain area, in a certain, uh, you know, sector, a uh, certain area of the world, a uh, certain state, they can really, really dominate. I mean, we just did a, a, you know, bright star there in Arizona. You know, we think that that uh, lithium mine there, the uh, Midnight Owl mine is going to be a great uh, big one day. It's going to be big, a big lithium producer. It was in the 50s and uh, it just didn't have the use for lithium so it's all piled up now. So uh, we'll see what they can do and if they can get into production uh, this cycle, my friends, when it comes to uh, lithium. That was the uh, Arizona's number one uh, uh, lithium play, in, in our opinion. And at 15 cents, you know, they take a, yeah, uh, take a ticket. You know, you, some of these stocks, you know, you take a ticket on them. But anyway, guys, moving on. Uh, what's hot? Energy is, is what's leading the way. Uh, oil, make no mistake about it, gas is up, uh, you know, everything else is going to be up, inflation is up, you know, just like this this carbon credit baby knockout we're talking, getting ready to talk about, they were a refinery gas play, and now what they've done is, uh, they had pretty good earnings here a little while, uh, a couple of weeks ago, but what they, they're going to go with renewables and all that, and they indicated, they hinted that way, 
So we we brought them up as a you know thirty cent company. Now they're going to be approaching two dollars here uh, soon. So we we better mention them again before they get to five. And you say Mickey D, hey, you hid this from us. No, no, I gave it to my private students uh, months and months ago. So uh, just because it's hitting now, see we we put those pennies together and we have a lot of patience also, guys. So that's that's how we roll. Uh, we're going to take a look here at these charts. And we're going to see uh, uh, another picture of, of what uh, uh, may be developing here in the next uh, days, weeks, and possibly months uh, to come here. Una momento. Let's take a look at the overall market here real quick, guys, as we take a look at the uh, spiders, uh, SPY. Uh, looks like it, uh, it did bump up a little bit. Maybe running out of gas. Uh, we'll see. Uh, definitely, if it goes up and uh, challenges the 200-day moving average, which it's below, well below right now, uh, that may set up a, a nice uh, short opportunity there. You never know, you guys. Uh, Q, Q, Qs, Q, 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 three Qs. Uh, it used to be four Qs, three Qs, three Qs. Uh, also, it uh, bounced up a little bit. Uh, if it goes up, like I said, and uh, you know we're in a bear market, so it, it's just like in a bull market. It, you, know, you test the 200-day moving average, like we've done with some of our uh, uh, uranium stocks in a bull market. Now, let's face it, the uranium market is in a bull market, uh, uh, but the overall market is bearish. So we will test on the downside, like we will test on the upside here. Uh, with the cues here, uh, they may be running out of gas though. Man, we may be headed down. Who who knows there? Let's take a some of the uh, look at some of the uh, uranium. Oh, uh, Cameco. Look at Cameco over its 200-day moving average, uh, showing a, a little strength uh, as it trades sideways. But it is above its 200-day moving average, so well, we'll keep an eye on on Cameco and, and see how. Once again, these are long-term trades, guys. Uh, uranium uh, Energy Corp. UEC. Uh, it also closed the week out over its 200-day moving average, and uh, it's trading sideways also, like we've been saying here the last couple weeks or so. It uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, that is a sign of strength if it keeps its 200-day moving average. Uh, let's look at uh, some of the lithium's Patriot Battery Metals. Uh, it is uh, above its 200-day moving average, which is way down here. Patriot has... As he's gotten ahead of itself, guys, it was good to take some profits. You guys up uh, in the uh, you know 350-ish USD range, uh, it was good to uh, take some. A lot of you have taken some profit. I do believe uh, we're going to uh, come down a little bit, guys. We got ahead of ourselves. There's a lot of uh, you know a lot of uh, support uh, there under uh, under two dollars. Uh, you know it's two ninety six right now, but uh, there's there's a lot of uh, a lot of support there, so we we will see uh, uh, how how this uh, pans out. Uh, as I did want to uh, go over this uh, carbon uh, credit here with you, guys. Just a quick review from the uh, newsletter uh, in uh, December uh, about the carbon credits. We started a new watch list. Beginning of a major trend of energy, carbon credits will play a major role. Governments around the world will play a major role in mandating clean uh, air energy. What are carbon credits and how did Tesla make 1.6 billion selling carbon credits? Carbon credits allow us for a company holding credit to emit emissions and greenhouse gases. A single credit equals one ton of carbon dioxide to be admitted or the mass equivalent to carbon dioxide for other gases. Companies hold many credits, as many as they wish to purchase or to balance out their emissions. Uh, credits are created uh, when a project is deemed to have eliminated one ton of greenhouse emissions. Planning for forests that would eliminate one ton of carbon emissions would be enough uh, to uh, create a credit. Uh, credits do, however, decay over time, which means companies continually need to create, to re to create new ideas to remove emissions. Tesla is a company with electronic cars that helps the environment. So they receive positive credits versus a company like a Chinese factory that pollutes uh, carbon credits because uh, they pollute a lot and they would have to buy uh, credits uh, on the open market there. Guys, one of our carbon credit companies, let me, let me uh, get this uh, lined up for you here. Hold on one second here. Back to Blue Dolphin Energy. 
company, BDCO. Uh, it was up at the end of the week, 50% on Friday, guys. Um, this stock was a stock that was just moping along, uh, wasn't doing very much. Um, they said they were leaving gas and oil behind. They put out a, a press release. Um, they were going to be going into renewables, uh, ESG, the Environmental Social Corporate Governance. They were going to do well. They, they were going to be this, that, and the other thing. But something happened along the way. Oil prices went up. Um, they, uh, uh, you know, refinery business did very, very well. And poof, that baby kind of jammed up on us. And if you can recall on a video, I did give you this chart, but I didn't tell you the name of this company because I wanted to see how far it was going to come back down, if it was going to come back down, uh, just like clockwork, and challenge its 200-day moving average and revisit that particular area. And then it swooped, swooped back up. So um, that the retest there was complete and bam, uh, it's up and running. And this is uh, BDCO. This is one of the three uh, carbon credit companies that we in introduced to the private students uh, in, in uh, December. Uh, it's it's taken a little while, uh, <laughs> uh, six months, <laughs> but uh, now it's gotten its mojo. And uh, uh, I suspect it's gone a little bit too far, a little bit too fast. But I said the same thing about Patriot Battery Metals when it was uh, at maybe 250 or so, and it went up another, you know, uh, a lot, put it that way. Uh, and this uh, Blue Dolphin Energy uh, could do the same thing. This company could, uh, could do very, very well. And like I said, we were way back here, and I like these nice, quiet charts. Uh, in December, it was nice and quiet and doing its thing. They put out a press release. Nobody paid attention to it. Who cared? You know, we thought maybe one day when they got their act together, they would, uh, you know, and as we were thinking about it, they were doing, making moves. And uh, then they came out with a pretty good little earnings report where they made a lot of money in oil and refinery. And uh, the rest can be history if they really do very well and get their stride. So congratulations to all of you that uh, we're in Blue Dolphin Energy and you're in it for uh, reasons other than uh, our uh, carbon credit uh, uh, reason of them getting uh, renewables and, and getting into uh, that business. But, you know, one out of three, hey, that'll get you to the, uh, well, that'll get you in baseball, that'll get you in Hall of Famer. So, you know, you won't be the GOAT, but you'll be a Hall of Famer. So I need possibly one more of those three carbon credits uh, companies to uh, take off. Watch out, guys. When you're hot, you're hot. So uh, watch those other two, uh, you that uh, are private students that get the uh, newsletter. And it's, it's easy to get, guys. All you have to do is uh, uh, follow that link in the description area, and you too can get companies like uh, Blue Dolphin Energy, BDCO, uh, early when it's nice and quiet, but the announcement has been made. Nice and quiet. That's the way we like it. And then poof, and then we like for them to come back down. And there's another opportunity once they retest that 200 day, boom, and right on back up. That's the way we like them. You guys have a great, great weekend. Love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family, uh, guys. And I will see you uh, next week.